Hello and welcome to Food for Thought. It's Mark Lockridge here. I'm the pastor of New Life Fellowship at Letterkenny and Milford Reformed Presbyterian Church. It's great to have you with us. Back in 2020, politicians and economists had proposed a scheme called the Great Reset. It was an economic recovery plan in response to the pandemic. They talked about resetting and reshaping the world. And to be honest, it kind of passed me by, but it popped back into my mind this week. We'd love it if there was a reset button for our lives, or for the planet. Something that would undo the harms and restore default settings, wouldn't we? It came to mind because we were looking in church at Revelation chapter 21 in the Bible, which begins with, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And it continues with, Behold, I am making everything new. I'm sure you're fed up with the brokenness and the wickedness of this world too. Whether it's disease, accident, gangland killings, international conflict, pollution, greed, homelessness, the list is almost endless. The prospect of all things being made new speaks to a deep ache and longing inside each of us. These verses describe a time after Jesus Christ returns, when God hits reset for the planet and his people. And what an astonishingly beautiful picture it paints. These verses speak of the planet being made new. No more earthquakes, storms, disasters. No more places ruined by greed and pollution. Imagine the best places looking even better. Donegal's stunning coastline and vibrant sea, even more glorious. Flowers and fruits, more spectacular. Sunsets and starry nights, more stellar. These verses speak of there being nothing to ruin it. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. That's what it says. Perhaps life has been ruined for you. And you look at your one life and weep over the unfairness of it all. But what if there was a chance for another life? One that couldn't be ruined. These verses also speak of a people made perfect. Made beautiful inside and out. Radiant like a bride on her wedding day. I know when I get anything new, I'm sure to damage it before too long. I think we know that if there was a perfect world, we'd mar it. But these verses speak of a change that happens to us too. All those aspects of ourselves which are deeply wrong, gone forever. A society of the greatest expressions of what humanity is designed to be. These verses also speak of being with a tender, powerful and loving God who satisfies in riches and delights in his children. That's how the Bible starts. A perfect world with perfect people enjoying a perfect God. That was the original design. And one day God will hit reset and the world will be made new. And people too. And so the Bible finishes with that great hope. Doesn't it speak to a longing deep inside us? We know that this world isn't the way it's supposed to be. That there is a way it's supposed to be. And we long for it in our pain. And sometimes in moments of great joy, we sense its reality even more. And we wish that that moment could last forever. One day it will. The Bible's also clear that not everyone will be there. It's God's people who are present and made perfect. And so before Jesus returns, we have an opportunity to ask God to reset our lives, as it were, so that we become one of his people. Make sure you don't miss it. And if you'd like to find out more, drop me a line. You can listen to the whole sermon on YouTube. Just search for New Life Fellowship Letter Kenny. Thanks for listening. And if you want to get in touch, drop me an email. Mark at newlifefellowship.ie Have a great week.